This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Andrew Moore Crispin here. I finally got a chance to actually touch the Motorola Atrix. I saw this guy at CES 2011. Super excited. It won best at show, didn't it? It did, absolutely. So I'm here with David from Motorola, who's going to actually give us a bit of a guided tour of the device and just kind of tell us For what sure. it's really all about. Absolutely. Now, first off, we have a 4-inch uh, widescreen. 4-inch QHD display, the world's first QHD display, and that's quarter HD, uh, basically one quarter the resolution of a full 1080p uh, monitor, just as you would have at home. Very nice. In addition, you've got uh, one of the world's first uh, dual-core uh, processing smartphones. So yeah, that's something I'm really excited about. I've really been waiting for smartphones to come out that can actually kind of keep up as you're, as you're trying to move between email and browsing and doing all that kind of stuff. Exactly. And at the end of the day, that's what it is. So the dual two uh, one gigahertz processors and a gig of RAM, which at the end of the day, to the end user, what that means is just an exceptionally fast user experience, whether it's the mobile sites that they're, that they're browsing and how quickly that content comes up on the display, right. or the ability to multitask and do several things at once. And that's where we leverage the power of those processors. Very nice. Now we have a VGA uh, camera up front here, exactly. So we can actually do video chats with yep. uh, with Grandma if she's if she wants to. Equipped. Yeah, absolutely. And now on the back we have a five megapixel camera as well. A five megapixel HD capable video recorder. So uh, again, capturing those life's moments that are that are important to the end users, all in HD quality, and lets you play them back on that super crisp high uh, high res four inch screen that uh, that is on the front of the device. Now we see as here well. the power button also acts as a fingerprint reader. Which which I think is a really it a cool concept. I mean, you know, we all understand the importance, especially. I mean, especially as we keep putting more and more and more data on our smartphones. For sure, uh, it's very important to keep them secure. But you know, who wants to try and remember? Well, first off, if we use like a four-digit passcode, four no six good. eight, exactly. You, you don't use some. You know, you don't want to be entering some massive password string every time. So I think this is this is just a smart idea. I like this one. It does. It provides the security, but also just that extra bit of personalization. Again, to your point, their smartphones today have everything that's important to us and everything that matters to us, and we don't want that information getting leaked out nor get into the wrong hands, you know, uh, jealous friends, etc., what have you, but that fingerprint sensor just uh, uh, gives you that extra layer of security. Absolutely. Okay, so now the phone is super cool. I, I do the like phone the phone, is. but there's kind of a, a whole other layer to the Atrix, so why Absolutely. don't we bust out the uh, laptop? Absolutely. So the other aspect of, uh, of what we've got with the Atrix is something called the Motorola WebTop solution, and WebTop was created to provide a more interactive mobile computing experience, taking the, what you can do on the phone and extending it off the glass of the phone and through either the lap dock, which you see here, and we'll talk about this, or the HD dock, uh, be able to extend your experience, whether it's gaming, whether it's computing, uh, whether it's browsing, just extend that onto a larger screen and have the external keyboard uh, capabilities. So now this guy is basically a thin client. Once we actually, let's pull this yep. open here open and dock, that the, uh, dock the smartphone. Dock it in. So now when, when we're docking this, what we're really doing is now this is basically becomes the processor that powers this whole mobile computing Absolutely. experience. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is the, uh, there is no operating system in the lap dock itself. The lap dock consists of the display, 11 and a half inch, the keyboard, the mouse pad, dual speakers, and batteries. And everything else is driven by the phone itself. Um, so what you see here when it comes up, you've got a couple of windows. You've got the mobile view, which is just a replication of everything that you would do on the device itself. So whether I'm processing a phone call, handling a text message, accessing any of the one of hundreds of thousands of applications from the Android marketplace. Right, that so now we can downloaded. play Angry Birds in full screen. You could indeed. And get a much finer uh, level of kind of detail so we can actually go and, and uh, kill those pigs. Absolutely, cool. absolutely. A lot of capability there. And then the other aspect, which is the unique side, is this full Firefox browser. And that's what you've got in this window. And this is rendering content, not the mobile content from websites that you would get uh, just by accessing the browser on the phone. Now this is giving you, um, replicating the same PC kind of browsing experience that you would have sitting at home on your desktop or on a laptop. Uh, you know, again, being the full Firefox browser, you've got multi-window, multi-tab environment. And also now brings into play, uh, using the power of the Atrix as the engine, brings into play cloud computing. So right. now for those of you that are accessing, uh, maybe it's your Office applications and you can easily access Office Live in that uh, uh, complete cloud environment. Work on, or work on applications or files, I should say, that are stored on the cloud. You can store them back to the cloud or you can store them in up to the 48 gig of memory that's, uh, that's available on the so device So now with, with things like you know, Google Docs and with things like uh, Picnic and all these kind of web apps that are increasingly taking 
whole. We can we can literally do things like edit our pictures and uh, do spreadsheets and all that stuff. But we are, we are working within the confines of a browser. We're not actually able to install new applications. That's correct. You are still working in the confines of the browser. And you know, leveraging the fact that you've got a single device, a single data plan, for example, from your uh, from your carrier, and you know, you're not working in multi-device app or environments where now you've got to sync content from one to another. Right. You're not sure, did I put this on that on that uh, laptop? Is it on my smartphone? You've got the luxury of just a single source for um, for the uh, for the applications or the the content that you want, I should say. And now being able to leverage your your full browser experience in the cloud environment to manipulate that content how you uh, how you see fit. Very nice. Now we saw the HD dock. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to kind of show it in this context in its full glory. But we were seeing, you know, like full screen um, HD video. We were listening to some music, watching a slideshow Absolutely. as we went through. And it's very, it very much looks like this interface when we um, when we first fire it up. It does. And, and the beauty is, whether I'm on the big screen or even on the laptop here, or lap dock, I should say, you can still access this entertainment center. And to your point, uh, this is the ability to now just consume the content that you've got on the uh, on the device. If it's all your music, you can use this to to listen to it, all the pictures that you may have stored, and all the videos, whether it's videos you capture from the HD camera on the phone itself, or maybe things that you've had on your home computer that you've moved over into, uh, into your Atrix uh, overall. Okay, one last question. Does it do phone calls? It does phone calls better than any phone I know. Very cool. David, thank you very much. Where are we going for more information on the Atrix? Uh, you can go to bell.ca slash Atrix, or you can get to the Atrix site from the Motorola.ca website as well. Very cool. We're looking forward to seeing this one in a little bit more detail. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.